All right. Guys, I'm going to talk about a very interesting point. I've been making a lot of videos about investors and their relationship with the CEOs or the execute chief executive, ex execution officer, right? Chief executive officer. So he's the one who's in charge of execution of what the company is trying to achieve and the managers and the rank and file, right? So in that same thing, on the basis of that, I'll tell you something very interesting. I can solve a very interesting problem from India. Like I can remove poverty from India. I can actually remove poverty from Pakistan or Bangladesh, any country. If the people who are beneficiaries of investors money can ensure that investors money is paid back. You see, if that ethic is, pre ethics, ethic is present in a general population, then this problem can be completely removed. For instance, take India. In India, there are about th three, 35 million people who are outside India, who are in various countries. And they're all making money. I told you in America, especially, everybody's making money. Even maids are making money. Even guest workers are making money. They all have money. What it costs a person to get here? Sometimes they're, so I'm talking about poor people, class three and class four, class four mainly. So all the class four, like they're class four people, what it takes it, it, it takes them maybe three lakhs, four lakhs, just to sponsor student visa, it takes about two, three lakhs. Everybody can try their luck. If let's say 100,000, 200,000 people try their luck, 500,000 people try their luck, 2 million people try their luck, that is 20 lakhs. Heck, why not one crore people try their luck? And let's say they all get, some of them will get visa, right? Investors, Investors, the way investors work, let's say these visa are now, there are a lot of people who don't have money, especially in villages and all that. In Punjab villages, in Bihar villages, in UP villages, they don't have money. So if they come here, that's the thing. The ROI, return on investment is thousand times. If they spend maybe three to four lakh rupees and try to get the visa, if they get the visa, it's easily 40, 50 lakhs per year. Yeah, it's easy, maybe more. 70, 80, oh sorry, 70, 80,000 lakhs per year, 100,000 making 100,000 per year is very, very easy. So 80 lakhs per year. Think about this, how much money they will make in 10 years. So it's eight crores. As I said, it's almost 200 times. Only problem is if someone invests in them, they will cheat. Cheating problem of India comes back and haunts us. Nobody is interested in doing this investment. So ROI is 200 times. If an investor says, okay, you know what? Okay, you know what? I'm going to be investing this in 10 people. Five people may get the visa. Three people may get the visa. Three may not get the visa. And that's fine. Whosoever gets the visa, whosoever comes here, he should give me, let's say, 10 times money. If I invest three lakhs, I want 30 lakhs over a period of the next three years. They should first earn money and give it back to me. Pretty good proposal from, from an ROI standpoint because there's just so much money on the plate. 80, 90 lakhs rupees per year. Out of that, if they give, let's say, you know, 10 lakhs from 15 lakhs back to the person and the next year they give 10, 10 more lakhs and the next year they give 10 more lakhs, their obligation is over, right? Perfect. They just took 10 lakhs out of the 100 lakhs that they will make. That is one crore they'll make or maybe 80,000 lakhs they will make, right? Easy, right? Very easy calculation. So investor can make his investor's money will grow in a successful bid will grow to 10 times. Obviously in unsuccessful, it will, he will lose, but overall he will make money. His money should become five times, right? In this whole thing. So if he invests in, let's say, five and 10 chance, then five people will get the visa and they'll, they'll be able to get the money, right? Five times, right? So, right? For five, right? But the problem is those five people who'll get the visa will cheat. Remember I told you about the how Olympic medalists India can never produce because investors are not interested in, interested, right? In this business, right? Same way in this business, big companies are not invest interested. Governments are not interested. Reliance people, company like Reliance are not interested. They have easy ways to make money. Startup people like startup sponsors like those software, etc. are not interested. American companies which, which come to America, they are not interested. So who will be interested? Small investors, small and mid-sized investors like us. If my company every year I sponsor 10 people and it becomes double, or sorry, it comes five times, then why would I not do it? Those people would come here, they will also have the same opportunity to make the same money. Now they can invest in other people. So 
India will immediately become very prosperous because the person who comes here, he'll he'll give 10 lakhs to the investor, maybe 20, 30 lakh per year for, for his expense, but then rest he can send to India. He'll be sent to India and that will make India prosperous. One person earning in America can easily fit 20 people in India. Yes. They can take 20 people, 20 people come to 20 people family uh, expense and then yet save a lot of money here. Because well, in India expenses are very low. So poverty will just go away from India if people do not cheat. If people do not cheat and this thing will this thing will just this will just change the fortune of the country. So India also, Pakistan also, Bangladesh also it will change the fortune of the country immediately. There are so many countries. I'm, I was talking about student visa before, right? but there are so many other visas. In which investors are little very high. People can get asylum declared. In 20 lakhs, they can come here on asylum basis. So I don't know. So basically, I don't know why Indian people cheat. If the Indian people don't cheat and there is a clear return on investment of the investor, then he, they would love to invest in these ventures. If in asylum, if let's say we assign, we, 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 I, 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 let's say file asylum, I basically sponsor asylum of let's say five people, that's one crore investment. If I get three crore back, four, five crore back, what's the problem? 60 lakhs, right? The, the asylum visa holder can return 20 lakhs in the next 20 lakhs each year per year for the next three years. And I, I'm done. I get my 60 lakhs back. I get my money three times. I personally think this can work if there is a guarantee that people will not cheat. But the problem is in people will cheat. Actual visa itself. India is not sponsoring actual visa like anything. But there are so many people with actual visa who are stuck in India. People who are in TCS in America, who have worked for TCS in America, Infosys in America, their visa, they don't understand their visa number is valid for six years in India. Even if they come back, their visa gets expired, their stamp gets expired, everything is expired, their visa number is still intact. So they can some come back for six years. They do not know these rules. There will be a lot of people who are ready to sponsor their work visa and get them here. Problem is they will cheat. Just as they come here, they get a lot of rights. And once they get the rights, they start denying them the, the, the return to the investor. So if someone can affect a system with which investors money is, is safe, when he sponsors a candidate, when he when he sponsors a like there is a lot of money involved, right? You know, um, aeroplane tickets, this, that, uh, uh, doctors sponsor. I can sponsor doctors also. All these when a lot of money is involved. So once they get uh, the benefit, when they when they get the benefit, then they should return it three times, five times, depending on the scenario, ten times in some cases. Then the entire country's fortune will change. It will be very prosperous. But the problem is Indians will cheat. They will cheat. Bottom 70% are basically crooks in India. That's the biggest issue in India. And that is because of the reason. So my solution will not work. Otherwise, my solution is a foolproof solution. Within two, three years, very short amount of time, India's fortunes can change. Can change. All right, guys. Thank you.